Hey folks, just a quick video to show you a little device I picked up on the local classifieds. It's a pass-through device I've been keeping my eye out for because I wanted to add it to the stable, so to speak. It's a DMR ES15. And I use it as a pass-through device to help with image stabilization during video capture. It acts like a TBC basically, time-based corrector. And it helps a lot with jitter and other issues with tapes um, that are older and may have problems playing uh, straight from the VCR. So this one is in great shape. It's basically next to new condition. I don't use the DVD part of it. Again, I just simply use it as a pass-through. Um, this VCR has S-Video and so does that Panasonic, so I'm able to capture using the S-Video connectors, which is nice. And I've still got a bit of Betamax capture to do, so I'll be using this for the next little bit. I had previously been using my DMR ES10, um, which is a very similar device. It's uh, this one right here. But in tests that I've seen online, the 15 does a, be a better job of recreating whites and blacks than the 10. Um, although the 10 does a better job at very damaged tapes, apparently. Tapes that are like really damaged and need a lot of stabilization, basically. So, one more unit added to the stable. Um, I actually have a couple more of those Panasonic units I use as pass-throughs. One of these has an HDMI connection, um, which I thought at the time might be nice to capture using an HDMI capture card, but for these tapes I still prefer just to uh, use the S-Video output. And then these are the other VCRs that I use for capturing. Uh, these are VHS machines. This one here is my kind of go-to. The one below it is an inferior model. It doesn't have TBC, but it shares a lot of the parts of the um, of the 7500, which is this one. Um, so if I ever need to replace anything, I'm just going to use that as a parts machine. And then this is the AG1980P. Um, but I really rely on this EDV7500 for uh, most of my Betamax captures. I'll only pull out a different Betamax machine if, for whatever reason, a tape's not playing properly in this unit. So, I'm going to start using this as my primary pass-through capture device, the DMR ES15, unless, I, again, I run into a tape that's very badly damaged, and then, in that case, I'll pull out the ES10. Behave you guys. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. And if you are into VCRs and tape collecting, here's a couple books you might want to check out.